Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Joe Hindi, the Android Authority app guy here and in this video we're going to take a quick look at Ghostery Browser. The purpose of this browser is to make web browsing more transparent and allow you to see and block when websites try to track you. Of course, this is a web browser and thus it does web browser kinds of things such as surf the internet, search, and all of that stuff. Ghostery relies on the standard tab system that is accessible with the square icon at the top next to the ghost icon which we'll get to in a moment. Beside that, there is the three dot icon that gets you into the settings and the navigation keys like back, forward, refresh, share, and bookmarks. The tab system is pretty standard. You can open various tabs and switch between them pretty easily. It's a very clean interface, so you shouldn't be getting lost at all. As per the norm, you can swipe away any tabs you're no longer using, and a nifty little reminder will show up at the bottom in case you want to undo the closing of the tab, and that lasts even if you close the app and open it back up. In terms of performance, Ghost Free Browser is based on Android WebView and does about as well as all other browsers that are based on Android WebView. It scored relatively well in Peacekeeper by Futuremark and should score right around what Google Chrome scores in most other benchmarks. In real world performance, it works about as well as you can reasonably expect the browser to work. We didn't see any dips in performance that worried us, but it's also not going to win any speed records. The biggest features are the ones that deal with privacy. Ghostery aims to make web browsing more transparent. The ghost icon at the top keeps a count of how many trackers each website you visit attempts to employ. If you click the icon, you'll see a list of all the trackers present on that website. From there, you can block them or allow them as you so choose. You can also whitelist list a website which will allow it through the track blocking if it's a site you trust. You can also pause the tracker blocking if a website is acting weird and it allows you to see if the site works without the blocking in place. In the settings you can change a number of different things. The default search is DuckDuckGo but you can change it to Yahoo, Google, or ugh, Bing if you so choose and there are others. You can also manage your ghost resettings and decide whether or not to allow track blocking or whether or not to enable ghost rank which sends anonymous data back to Ghostry to help them improve their product. About the only issues we ran into are that some websites seem to hiccup a little bit when tracker blocking is 100% enabled. Every now and then you may have to whitelist a website or turn the tracker blocking off or pause it but otherwise everything seems to work as intended. There is no flash player support but there hasn't been on an Android browser in ages unless they do some weird hackery so I wouldn't take the lack of flash support too seriously. Overall, this is a very solid and stable web browser. The clean interface makes it easy for casual users and the app is generally well laid out and has good performance. The privacy additions that Ghostry have added are icing on the cake and this is a must have browser if you're worried or even curious about what websites are tracking you and what they're tracking you with. And that about does it for this video folks. In the video description below, we'll have a link to the written version of this video along with the download links to Ghostry browser if you're interested. If you haven't already, you can subscribe Subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel below. As always, thanks for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.